Hello! In this video I'm going to address the problem of transported loads being carried by multirotors or drones. If the transported load is outside the vehicle fuselage, it is usually carried beneath the vehicle attached with ropes or cables. This is commonly referred to as under slung load and it has basically existed since the helicopter was created. Flying with a suspended load can be a very challenging and sometimes hazardous task because the suspended load significantly alters the flight characteristics of the quad rotor. As you can see in these videos, uh, this prominent pendulous oscillatory movement affects the response in the frequency range of the attitude control of the vehicle. Uh, therefore, a fundamental uh, understanding of the dynamics of the slung loads as they relate to vehicle handling is essential to develop safer automatic pilots to ensure the, the usage of this type of aircraft, uh, quadrotors, uh, in, in, in the transporting load application will be feasible. As you can see in the current videos, uh, there is lots of accidents uh, that can very, very easily occur when, when, when we are flying with a suspended load attached. But there is always time to get that perfect memory. Human helicopter pilots spend around 10 years training in order to transport uh, slung loads and as you can see in these videos they can do an amazing and incredible job. This is why I propose a swing-free controller that will dampen the oscillations of the slung load. Uh, this is done with an estimator that will predict the position of the slung load using a machine learning algorithm that relies on recurrent neural networks and tons, tons of real flight data coming from this uh, multi-rotor uh, slung load system. Once we know uh, the estimator works and is actually predicting the relative position of the slung load against the quad rotor, we, I propose a, a controller, a swing-free controller that will uh, dampen the oscillations when the vehicle is following a certain trajectory. The video on the left shows the oscillations of the slung load without control, while the video on the right shows the reduced oscillations uh, on the load with the control of light. Let's watch it again. Impressive, right? Next we show a step response trajectory uh, with control and without control. As you can see on the right, uh, the, the system uh, greatly reduced the oscillations of the load. Let's watch it in slow motion. Here we go, here we go. One oscillation and it and it's stopped, while the other one is on the second one and third one and keeps on going. We then proceed with more interesting trajectories like the circular one. In these animations, uh, you can see the replay of the, of the response with control and without control. Uh, the next one is the figure of eight. The figure of eight is a very interesting uh, trajectory because it excites and even uh, uh, create loops, as you can see now, uh, of, of the slung load while the vehicle is trying to track the trajectory. I took a long exposure photography, light painting uh, a photo uh, to, uh, to, to exemplify this, this, this problem. Uh, you can see it creates two, at least two loops, and now with control. So you can, uh, I want you guys to focus on the on the slung load rather than on the vehicle. So I'm going to zoom in into the into the slung load so that, uh, that you can see that there is no there is no loops, there is no uh, uh, horrible oscillations. The the load is being transported beautifully. Amazing, right? And you can see the plot uh, of the response where there is no loops anymore. Uh, this is the light, the light painting photography and it looks just awesome, just great. 
Well, in this short video, we showed uh, uh, our approach uh, to solve the problem of this download when it's being carried by a, by a, by a drone, by a quad rotor. And I want you guys uh, to leave you with this uh, amazing shot in the moment I managed to get, uh, to get the system working at the first time. Thank you very much, guys.